Happy Sunday. Uh, shorter training day. Um, we're at week 18 of 20. So next weekend, gonna get fat and happy at Thanksgiving and uh, load up on some calories for the week after that, which is the race, December 4th. Um, last week was the last big week of the training cycle. Um, it was 55 miles total, and I decided to lump together Saturday and Sunday into uh, one big 50 miler, and that went really well. And this week, the weekend total is 33 miles. Uh, it was supposed to be t um, 20 yesterday and 13 today, but I'm kind of splitting it up half and half just because of how my day went. Um, so just taking kind of a nice and slow jog today. It warmed up, so I'm out here making friends with Ray Baker. Uh, that's the son's name, Ray Baker. And everything's going good. I'm feeling good. I'm I'm ready for the race. It's only two weeks away, and it kind of snuck up on me uh, with how fast it arrived. But I'm not upset about it. I'm really excited about it. I'm ready mentally and physically. I'm just ready to get it done and get out there and and have the whole experience. It's a lot of ups and downs. Um, some serious serious downs but the struggle is what I crave and that's why I do it and I'm looking forward to seeing how I can push through it this time other than that uh, it's pretty good it's a nice day today um, like I said it's warming up I hope it doesn't get too warm for the race but early December in Florida it's kind of a crap shoot uh, it could be upper 70s it could be in the 50s who knows i'll have to check the forecast uh last year at the start line it was like 30 degrees super cold and then it warmed up to like mid 70s it was a huge swing and then dropped way down to like 40 again at night so and then really really warm um on the Sunday of the race. I had a really hard time because uh, of how hot it was, but I'm better prepared this time. I know how to pace myself. I know how to handle the handle myself in the weather. I can't handle the weather. I can only handle myself in the weather and how I deal with it, but I've got a good grip on everything. And uh, like I said, a million times I kind of ramble. Um, I feel ready and happy and excited about it. Uh, I hope the wind isn't too bad in the microphone right now. Um, but I'm about to shut the phone back down and get back to running. It's one of the last check-ins before this race. So it's getting close. Uh, starting to get a little bit jittery. I've got my weekend plan all set up with my volunteers and my schedule and the stops we've been getting our um, like down to the wire updates from the race director so that's that makes it more exciting and makes it feel a lot closer we have a, a zoom meeting on Monday for our um, like the rundown of the course and uh, we usually do that just the night before the race but I guess the the race director wanted to make it more accessible for everybody this year, so we're going to do it a couple weeks ahead of time um, in a Zoom meeting, and that's tomorrow night. Um, that's pretty much it, kind of ramping down pretty seriously, pretty seriously, ramping down during the weekly training and the weekend training now that the race is coming up two weeks away it's going to be down to weekly totals of maybe 50 miles that's all week plus the weekend so that's pretty low um, given that the 
the heavier portions, of, the heavier cycles of this training plan got up to like 80. So 50 is a nice break. And that's about it. So I'm going to shut her down and finish up this run and uh, get hydrated because I'm losing a lot of fluids. Like I said, it warmed up. I think it's going to get up to 80 today which kind of sucks, but we'll see how it goes and I'll just deal with it. I'll talk to everybody later.